Hello and welcome to Snow and a Console Mods and today we have a mod review of the CCM Core or C-O-R and this is a race car which came out today for console mods so let's go and have a blast around now I've had a little bit of a, a fly around with it already and yeah it's good fun it's got quite a bit of power to it and the high high range gear is absolutely nuts and it really is but uh it's a race car whoa and whoa whoa the physics in the game the way the gravity work are a bit pants at the moment but yeah it's a nice bit of kit actually so this would be good good fun for multiplayer especially you get on the super stadium or something like that so we have a look at overall around the vehicle and you can see that's how it is there just like that now it jumps fantastic as well and let's go into the garage and I'll show you what options are available for it right there's not a huge amount of options for it um, just one engine one gearbox one suspension which is the tune custom and then tires we've got a few different tire options as you can see quite a few they're all a decent rating on them and whatever as well then we go on to winches you've got a standard winch which is I think that's autonomous I haven't rolled it yet and then we've got bumper lights and roof lights as well if you want those just like that let's put them on let's just put them on and then we go over there's no different rims on it oh there is oh I'll tell you what I did that earlier and it didn't change I beg your pardon there are two rims you've got the bead locks and the slot white on there so let's have those slot white and then color options we've got uh, these different color options available just like that and then i don't think there's except oh no we have got bobbleheads we got bobbleheads for it if you want that crap then uh yeah so not a huge amount for it but it is a race car what else do you need so it has got the low the low minus and low plus on the gearbox there and we've got permanent diff lock by the looks of things but we have got engageable all-wheel drive now i tell you what we've got this little jump here i'll just show you how good it was jumping it better jump nicely now because i've done a few jumps in it and it worked a treat oh yes lovely just like that could have been a bit on the back end but that was probably me going a, a little bit too quicker than what I should have right there we go let's put it into all-wheel drive now I didn't know if it started spinning out actually I should have tried that let's see if we can donut it if uh come on just get out so it's nice and flat area I'm not sure if it will or not no I don't think it will, will it it's a shame if only we could do donuts in it Right, anyway, put the engageable all-wheel drive on and then we'll head our way down this way. Now we've got a few a few little berms to oh, we can slide over at the moment. Come on, get it lined up. There we go. Let's go. So it's got a five-speed gearbox on there and it does get up through the gears pretty quick, as you can see. Whoa! And that second jump, if you don't make that a second berm if you don't make that it doesn't have to give you some damage but what have we got for repair points so we haven't got extortionate amounts but we have got repair points there which is always nice gonna have a few there right so let's bang it up and i'll tell you what let's go and have a look to see the suspension over the let's do that first what time is it are we getting on yeah let's change the time to 1300 and let's have a go with this suspension put it into the the low so low and then low plus and yeah that's working pretty well it's all about you can, let's slow it down a bit and then you can see what's going on you just want the vehicle to stay in one place and then the suspension to do its job just to take those impacts and that is doing that a treat the suspension travel on the back end is quite large the way you set up with that lower sort of swing arm there 
awesome. Right, put it up to low plus. And then we're taking over these obstacles. And yeah, it doesn't have any issues, does it, whatsoever. So that suspension is working a treat. But it's a race car, so we just need to be going fast, not going over obstacles and what have you. I should have taken this to the, um, the stadium map, really, but never mind. We'll do that next time. So let's get it into auto and get a bit of a speed up. But yeah, I'll have to get a few guys out and do some co-op with the... Uh, with the core, that'd be a good crack actually. Right, so it is quite quick once you get speed up, but when you put it into high, well, you can see that back end, it, uh, it starts trying to, <laughs> it starts wheeling. It's awesome, whoa, look at that power. You just gotta be careful when you blip it. Let's try that again. Let's get it rolling first. and then put it into high and if you just blip the throttle it's not doing it now I've noticed this with high sometimes that it doesn't seem to get going unless you've um, got enough speed up so why is that slowing down there? come on get the speed up and then we'll put it into high yeah there we go and you see the back end just kicks off straight away but that's what we find with snow runner as soon as you start going too fast it's very uncontrollable let's get up through those gears and then put it into high yeah there it goes whoa whoa yeah we're not gonna make that jump are we no we made our own jump but yeah it's really hard to actually get the get the mod to be stable and turn and do what you want it to when you're going fast which is a bit of a shame but then again it's the game isn't geared for going fast really is it it's meant for just crawling along and taking your time and getting through that mud, really, isn't it? But you can see there's all some bits of power slide on it. Whoa, if we can miss that bloody post. Come on, get it back up there. There we go. But yeah, quite like this one. It's just nice to have something a bit different, you know, where we want to race, race car in here. Now we've got one. So I did have a look at this on PC a few weeks back and uh, I did spend quite a few hours just driving around, having a crack with it as you do like. Yeah, see, so put the power on, lovely, beautifully. But it, I found it did like the dirt more than the tarmac. You find that with most of the mods, they don't really go that well on the tarmac. I, don't, I think it's down to the tyre values and what have you, getting that right. I've never come across a mod, whoa, 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 whoa. Never come across a mod what on the tarmac behaves really well. This sort of dirt road, you find they perform really well. But not on the tarmac. Because we have got some nice little tracks on. Whoa. Whoa. Come on. Keep it straight. Spin around. Bit of handbrake. There we go. Oh, we can donut. It will do donuts. It's just on the right surface. Come on, keep it in a straight line. There we go. Oh, yeah, and of course, that's the other thing as well. Going fast increases damage. You hit a tiny rock, then it's gonna give you a serious amount of damage, but good fun to use. Uh, I'm going to have a word with a few guys and we get on some co-op at the, the stadium, I think. Truck Super Stadium. That would be an awesome shape. So we better check through some mud anyway because you're bound to get, well, you're bound to come across some mud wherever you are and it doesn't go too badly in the mud. It's not completely OP. You have got to slow it down now. I find if you're going too fast, it just spins up the tyres and uh, doesn't really go very far. It's like if you go and put it in, all, in high now, it will just spin up. Which is good. It's not OP really, is it? 
the tyre values, he's got all the tyre values, I went to say that in the, um, the garage, he shows what tyre values they are. Where as a rule of thumb, if a tyre value is over 4.0, normally class that as OP. And they're, they're all just under that basically. So a little bit more than some people like to. And the vanilla um, tyre values are about 2.5. But you can see it, uh, it goes through the mud. But it's just not going to... Well, you're not going to use it for going through mud really, are you? And I'm not sure if we could hook up trailers. No, we haven't got a trailer hook or anything on the back there, have we? So I very much doubt we'll be able to uh, hook them up. But like that, it goes really well. Good fun to use. But yeah, I'll tell you what, let's recover back a minute and just check the trailer store. I'm pretty sure it won't have a won't be able to hook up trailers to it. It's got no tow hitch on there. Yeah, that's what we thought. It is it is a race car. How many race cars have a tow bar? Well, none whatsoever. Whoa. There we go. I think we'll take it back around that dirt track again. Yeah, it handles pretty well actually. It is quite stable. As you can see, I've only rolled it a couple of times and that was just down to extreme power. You can see there, you're going a little bit too quick. It just has trouble um, steering. It's just so hard to get everything set up right on a mod. And it seems to do that slow down a little bit. You go down, you slow down too much, it, it seems to want to slow right down. Come on, what are you doing? I don't want to go up there really. Awesome. Nice bit of kit. Now this is from Fred's Wayne, I didn't say that at the start of the video. So thank you Fred for bringing this out. Awesome bit of kit, good fun. And I can't wait to use it on co-op. Get a bit of racing going on. Righto, we'll leave it there for today's SnowRunner console mod review of the CCM Core. You made by Fred Wayne. Eight available on console, PS4, Xbox One, right now. Come out. Well, I'm doing a review of like it's only been out for about half hour, something like that. So I hope you enjoyed this episode, and if you did, why not check out my other videos? I have loads. I'm getting on for nearly 600 videos now. And did you know I covered snow running news? I do that on a daily basis. Thanks for watching, till the next time, goodbye.